John Felix Anthony Cena Jr. is an American professional wrestler, actor, rapper, and television presenter. As a wrestler, he is signed to WWE. As a TV presenter, he is the host of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? on Nickelodeon. Cena was born and raised in West Newbury, Massachusetts and moved to California in 1998 where he pursued a career as a bodybuilder before transitioning into professional wrestling in 1999 when he debuted for Ultimate Pro Wrestling. Cena soon signed with the World Wrestling Federation in 2000, and was initially assigned to Ohio Valley Wrestling. In WWE, Cena gained industry fame after adopting a persona of a trash-talking rapper, and he won his first singles title, the United States Championship, in 2004. The next year, Cena would win the WWE Championship for the first time. Following that, Cena's character transitioned into a Superman-like heroic figure, and subsequently led the company as its franchise player and public face for the next decade. Cena has headlined several major WWE pay-per-view events, closing the company's flagship annual event, WrestleMania, five times. He has also won several championships in his career being a five-time United States Champion, a four-time World Tag Team Champion, and a WWE Record 16-time World Champion. He is also a two-time Royal Rumble match winner, and a Money in the Bank ladder match winner. Although he is considered to be one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time by his peers for his strong work ethic, Cena was regularly met with varied critical and fan reception during his career, offering praise for his character work and mic skills with criticism offered for his supposed over-representation and in-ring moveset, making him one of the most polarizing professional wrestlers ever. Cena's later matches starting from the latter half of 2016 have been widely praised for his ability to put over his opponents an apparent increase of quality for his in-ring work. Outside of wrestling, Cena has attained success as a musician, actor, and philanthropist. He released the rap album You Can See Me in 2005, which gained platinum certification in the United States. He has had leading film roles in The Marine, 12 Rounds, Trainwreck, Ferdinand, Blockers, and Bumblebee. He is also known for his involvement in numerous charitable causes, namely the Make-A-Wish Foundation, where he has granted over 600 wishes, the most in company history. John Felix Anthony Cena Jr. was born on April 23rd, 1977, in West Newbury, Massachusetts, to Carol and John Felix Anthony Cena. Cena is of Italian descent through his father, and of English and French-Canadian descent through his mother, his maternal grandfather being French-Canadian baseball player Tony Lupian. He has an older brother, Stephen, and three younger brothers, Dan, Matt, and Sean. Raised Catholic, he attended Central Catholic High School in Lawrence, Massachusetts before transferring to Cushing Academy, a private prep boarding school in Ashburnham, Massachusetts. He then attended Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts. In college, he was a NCAA Division III All-American center on the college football team and wore the number 54, which is still used on some of his WWE merchandise. Cena graduated from Springfield College in 1998 with a degree in exercise physiology and body movement after which he pursued a career in bodybuilding and worked as a limousine driver. Cena started training to become a professional wrestler in 1999 at Ultimate Pro Wrestling's California-based Ultimate University operated by Rick Bassman. Once he was placed into an in-ring role, Cena began using a semi-robotic character known as the Prototype. Some of this period of his career was documented in the Discovery Channel program inside Pro Wrestling School. He held the UPW Heavyweight Championship for 27 days in April 2000. Cena wrestled for the UPW until March 2001. On October 10, 2000, while billed as the prototype, Cena made his unofficial debut for the then World Wrestling Federation on a SmackDown taping in a dark match against Mackie Richardson, which he lost. He received another tryout on January 9, 2001, at a SmackDown taping in Oakland, California, this time defeating Aaron Aguilera. Cena wrestled again in a dark match at a SmackDown taping on March 13. In 2001, 
Cena signed a developmental contract with the WWF and was assigned to its developmental territory Ohio Valley Wrestling. During his time there, Cena wrestled under the ring name The Prototype and held the OVW Heavyweight Championship for three months and the OVW Southern Tag Team Championship for two months. Throughout 2001, Cena would receive four tryouts for the WWF main roster, as he wrestled multiple enhancement talent wrestlers on both WWF house shows and in dark matches before WWF television events. Through the early months of 2002, Cena constantly found himself competing on house shows for the WWF, where he wrestled against the likes of Shelton Benjamin and Tommy Dreamer. After his main roster call-up in June 2002, Cena would continue to appear on OVW programming until September 25th taping of OVW, where he lost to Kenny Berlin in a Loser Leaves OVW match. Cena would appear in a one-off appearance for the developmental farm in November under the ring name MR. P in a six-man tag team match, where he teamed with future WWE Hall of Famer Big Boss Man and Charlie Haas in a winning effort against Lance Cade, Trevor Murdoch, and Sean O'Hare. On June 24th episode of Raw, MR. McMahon ordered the entire roster to the ring and declared that he needed them to all find some ruthless aggression from within themselves and that he was looking for one of them to stand out from the rest of the pack. Cena made his WWE television debut on June 27, 2002, episode of SmackDown by answering an open challenge by Kurt Angle. After declaring that he possessed ruthless aggression, Cena lost by a pinning combination. After the match, Cena was congratulated by Billy Kidman, Farouk, Rikishi, and The Undertaker. Following the near win, Cena became a fan favorite and started feuding with Chris Jericho, defeating Jericho with vengeance. Then, Cena feuded with Los Guerreros and Cena picked up a victory over Chavo Guerrero on September 3, 2002, taping of Velocity. On September 12th episode of SmackDown, Cena teamed with Edge in a losing effort against Los Guerreros, thus ending the feud in the process. Cena went on to defeat the likes of Albert and Dee Von Dudley as he was restricted to appearances on Velocity for the rest of September. In October 2002, Cena and Billy Kidman took part in a tag team tournament to crown the first WWE tag team champions of the SmackDown brand, losing in the first round. The next week on SmackDown, Cena turned on and attacked Kidman, blaming him for their loss, becoming a villain for the first and only time in his career. On October 17th episode of SmackDown, Cena defeated Kidman in a singles contest, but was defeated by Kidman in a rematch on October 24th episode of SmackDown. Shortly after the Kidman attack on a Halloween-themed episode of SmackDown, Cena dressed as Vanilla Ice performing a freestyle rap. The following week on SmackDown, Cena received a new character, a rapper who cut promos while rhyming. He shortly after took on the nickname The Doctor of Thugonomics and expanded his gimmick to include him rapping before his matches. This is also when he started wearing hats and sports jerseys as a part of his ring gear. As the character evolved, Cena began adopting a variant of the 1980s WWF logo, dropping the F as his signature symbol, along with the slogan Word Life. At Rebellion, Cena would team with Don Murray in a losing effort against Kidman and Tori Wilson in a mixed tag team match. Eventually, Cena was joined by an enforcer, Bull Buchanan, who was rechristened B2. B2 helped Cena kick off 2003 in victorious fashion with a win over Rikishi on January 2nd episode of SmackDown and a win over Chavo Guerrero on January 9th episode of SmackDown. Both Cena and B2 participated in the 2003 Royal Rumble match, but were unsuccessful. Cena and B2 failed to capture the WWE Tag Team Championship from Los Guerreros, resulting in Cena replacing B2 with Red Dog until he was sent to the Raw brand in February 2003. For the first half of 2003, Cena sought the WWE Championship and chased the reigning champion Brock Lesnar after WrestleMania 19, gaining upset wins over Eddie Guerrero, The Undertaker, and Chris Benoit, who mocked him by wearing a toothless aggression shirt. Cena won a number one contenders tournament for the right to face off against Lesnar for the WWE Championship at Backlash, but he failed to win the title at the event. After Backlash, Cena entered into a feud with Rhino and Chris Benoit, which liked to Cena, along with Chuck Palumbo and Johnny Stamboli, defeating the team of Spanky, Rhino, and Benoit at Judgment Day. Shortly thereafter, 
Cena began mocking The Undertaker before and after his matches leading to a match between the two at Vengeance, where he lost a singles match against The Undertaker. In a rematch between the two, Cena would once again defeat The Undertaker on August 5th episode of SmackDown, this time with assistance from A Train. The feud between the two came to an end on August 19th episode of SmackDown, when Cena and A Train defeated Undertaker and Orlando Jordan in a tag team match. Cena then pursued the United States Championship, but lost to then champion Eddie Guerrero in a Latino street fight for the title. After losing to Kurt Angle at No Mercy, Cena became a fan favorite when he joined Angle as a member of his team at Survivor Series, where Cena and Chris Benoit were the survivors. Despite feuding, Cena and Benoit would later join forces as a makeshift tag team and on November 27th episode of SmackDown both won a 20-man battle royal to earn a WWE Championship match win, after being the last two men remaining, they would eliminate each other at the same time and were both declared joint winners of the match. However, Benoit defeated Cena the following week on SmackDown to earn a WWE Championship match against Lesnar that same night. In early 2004, Cena participated in the Royal Rumble match at the Royal Rumble, making it to the final six before being eliminated by Big Show. Chris Benoit was the eventual winner of the match. The Royal Rumble elimination led to a feud with Big Show. At No Way Out, Cena faced Big Show and Kurt Angle in a triple threat match for a WWE Championship match at WrestleMania XX, which Cena lost by submission to Angle. Cena won his first singles championship in WWE the United States Championship from Big Show at WrestleMania XX. He held the title for four months with successful defenses against the likes of Rene Dupree, Rob Van Dam and Booker T, until he was stripped of the title on July 8th episode of SmackDown by Angle after he accidentally knocked him over, thus attacking an official. Cena won the championship back defeating Booker T in a best of five series that culminated at No Mercy, only to drop it to the debuting Carlito Caribbean Cool the following week on SmackDown. After the loss to Carlito, the duo began a feud, which resulted in Cena allegedly being stabbed on a kidney while at a Boston area nightclub by Carlito's bodyguard, Jesus. This worked injury was used to keep Cena out of action for a month while Cena was filming The Marine. Immediately on his return in November, Cena won the United States Championship back from Carlito. Cena later successfully defended the championship against Jesus at Armageddon in a street fight match. Cena took part in the 2005 Royal Rumble match, making it to the final two along with Batista until both went over the top rope at the same time, ostensibly ending the match, which was restarted and won by Batista. The next month, Cena then participated in a number one contenders tournament for the WWE Championship and made to the finals at No Way Out, where he defeated Kurt Angle to earn a spot in the SmackDown brand's WrestleMania 21 main event match beginning a feud with then WWE Champion John Bradshaw Layfield and his cabinet in the process. In the early stages of the feud, Cena lost the United States Championship to cabinet member Orlando Jordan after JBL interfered and hit Cena with his title belt. Cena defeated JBL at WrestleMania to win the WWE Championship, giving Cena his first World Championship. Cena then had a spinner WWE Championship belt made, while JBL took the original title belt and claimed to still be WWE Champion, until Cena reclaimed the original championship belt in an I Quit match at Judgment Day. Cena was drafted to the Raw brand on June 6, 2005, taking his title with him and became the first wrestler selected in the annual draft lottery. Cena immediately entered a feud with Eric Bischoff, after refusing to participate in the war against the Extreme Championship wrestling roster at one night stand. At Vengeance, Cena made his first successful title defense since coming to Raw, defeating Christian and Chris Jericho in a triple threat match. With Bischoff bowing to make Cena's stint on Raw difficult, he handpicked Jericho to take Cena's championship from him. During their feud, even though Cena was portrayed as the face and Jericho as the heel, a vocal section of live crowds, nonetheless, were cheering Jericho during their matches. Crowds started to heavily boo Cena during his next feud with Kurt Angle who took over as Bischoff's hand-picked number one contender after Cena defeated Jericho in a year-fired match on August 22nd Raw. Cena held on to the WWE Championship through his feud with Angle, losing to him by disqualification at Unforgiven, pinning Shawn Michaels in a triple threat match involving Angle at Taboo Tuesday, and pinning Angle at Survivor Series. 
The feud with Angle also saw Cena add a secondary, submission-based, finishing maneuver, the STF, when he was put into a triple threat submissions only match on November 28th episode of Raw. At New Year's Revolution, Cena participated in the main event elimination chamber match where he retained the WWE Championship when he last eliminated Carlito. Immediately after a bloodied Cena won, Edge made his way to the ring to cash in his money in the bank contract, a guaranteed title match against the WWE Champion at a time and place of the owner's choosing. Two quick spears allowed Edge to pin Cena and win the championship. Three weeks later, Cena won the championship back at the Royal Rumble. After that, Cena began feuding with Triple H, in which the crowd again started booing Cena and cheering the intended villain, Triple H, after being mostly cheered the last few months. Cena beat Triple H at WrestleMania 22 to retain the WWE Championship. The negative reaction towards Cena intensified when facing Rob Van Dam at One Night Stand. Taking place in front of a boisterous crowd of mostly original ECW fans at the Hammerstein Ballroom, Cena was met with raucous jeering and chants of Fuck you, Cena, you can't wrestle, and same old shit. When he began performing different moves into the match, the fans began chanting You still suck. Cena lost the WWE Championship to Van Damme at one night stand after interference from Edge. In July, Edge won the championship from Van Damme in a triple threat match that also involved Cena, reigniting the feud between him and Cena from earlier in the year. After Edge went about retaining the title by dubious means, getting himself disqualified and using brass knuckles, he introduced his own version of Cena's custom title belt, this one with his logo placed on the spinner. Cena eventually won the championship back in a match in Arena of Edge's Choice, a tables, ladders, and chairs match at Unforgiven at the Air Canada Centre in Edge's hometown of Toronto, Ontario, Canada after performing the FU on Edge through two tables off a ladder. The match had a stipulation that, had Cena lost, he would have left the Raw brand for SmackDown. Cena returned his version of the Spinner title belt on the next night's Raw. On the heels of his feud with Edge, Cena was placed in an interbrand angle to determine the champion of champions, or which was the most dominant champion in WWE's three brands. Cena, the World Heavyweight Champion King Booker, and the ECW World Champion Big Show engaged in a mini feud leading to a triple threat match at Cyber Sunday, with the viewers voting on which of the three championships would be placed on the line. At the same time, Cena became involved in a storyline with nun wrestler Kevin Federline, when he began appearing on Raw with Johnny Nitro and Melina. After getting into a worked physical altercation with Federline on Raw, Federline appeared at Cyber Sunday to hit Cena with the World Heavyweight Championship during the match, helping King Booker retain his championship. 2006 ended with Cena beginning a feud with the undefeated Amada over the WWE Championship, while 2007 began with the end of his storyline with Kevin Federline. On the first Raw of the new year, Cena was pinned by Federline with an assist from Amaga, although later in the night he was able to get his hands on Federline performing an FU on him. At the pay-per-view event, New Year's Revolution, Cena defeated Amaga to end his undefeated streak and retain the WWE Championship. At the Royal Rumble, Cena defeated Amaga in a last man standing match to retain the title after Amaga was unable to get to his feet before the referee's 10 count. One night after the Royal Rumble, an impromptu team of Cena and Shawn Michaels defeated Rated RKO for the World Tag Team Championship, making Cena a double champion. At WrestleMania 23, Cena defeated Michaels to retain the WWE Championship after forcing him to submit to the SGF. The next night on Raw, Michaels turned on Cena, costing them the championship in the second of two 10-team battles royals, by throwing Cena over the top rope and eliminating the team. The Hardys eventually won the match and the championship. For the rest of the month, Cena feuded with Michaels, Orton, and Edge until the great Khali declared his intentions to challenge for Cena's championship attacking and laying out all three of the top contenders before assaulting Cena himself and stealing the physical title belt. For the next two months, Cena feuded with Khali over the championship, eventually becoming the first person in WWE to defeat him by submission at Judgment Day and then by pinfall at one night stand. Later that summer, Randy Orton was named the number one contender for the WWE Championship, starting a feud between the two. Leading up to SummerSlam, Orton delivered a number of sneak attacks, performing three RKO's to Cena, 
who in the actual match retained the championship. The rematch between the two occurred at Unforgiven, with Orton winning by disqualification after Cena ignored the referee's instructions and continued to beat on him in the corner. During a match with MR. Kennedy on October 1, 2007, episode of Raw, Cena suffered a legitimate torn pectoral muscle while executing a hip toss. Though finishing the match and taking part in the scripted attack by Orton after the match, surgery the following day found that his pectoralis major muscle was torn completely from the bone, estimating at the time to require seven months to a year of rehabilitation. As a result, Cena was stripped of the title by MR. McMahon on the next night's episode of ECW, ending what was the longest WWE championship reign in over 19 years. Cena's surgery was performed by orthopedic surgeon James Andrews at ST. Vincent's Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. Two weeks later in a video update on WWE.com, DR. Andrews and Cena's physical trainer both said that he was several weeks ahead of where he was expected to be in his rehabilitation at that time. Despite his injury, Cena attended the annual WWE's tribute to the troops show filmed at Camp Spiker in Tikrit, Iraq on December 7, and aired on December 24. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.